Hey, hey, what's going on? We're just in Matthew 11, verses 20 through 30. Of course, it's like any other time. Scriptures is deep. You can learn a lot. Again, this is uh, Yahushua. This is Jesus teaching. He just finished talking about John the Baptist, telling the multitude about who he was. Talking to John the um, Baptist's disciples. And sent them on their way. Right after this, in verse 20, it say he started to upbraid. Upbraid in this scripture means to revile or to reproach. Revile literally means to verbally abuse, right? So, now scripture don't say he was mad, but I'm under the impression that he was pissed, right? He talks about or tells this multitude that the mighty works that he has done in their gates, in their cities, had older cities, Sodom and uh, a few other cities, had they seen the things that he had done, that they would have repented and turned from their ways. Basically, they probably would have been kept from destruction because these cities were destroyed. But he's telling them that He's done these mighty works in their gates. They've seen these things, right? And they ain't repenting. They ain't turning their hearts. They ain't changing. Even though they see the proof, they see the sun. What I got from these verses, right? And we can look at human nature all day. People are hard-headed. They're stiff-necked. We're foolish. Even though we see a different way, we see a better way. We still want to do what we want to do. <laughs> How stupid can we be, right? But he, he's showing them the way. He's teaching them what it is. They won't repent. And he's telling them, look, because of this, it's going to be more tolerable in the day of judgment for these older cities, those ones that were destroyed back in the day, than it will be for them in the day of judgment. So take heed to that, right? Because... The, those older cities that he's that he mentioned, I forget the names right off top. Those cities are, at that time, they were gone. They were destroyed. And he's telling them that in the day of judgment, it's going to be more tolerable for those cities that were destroyed back in the day than it will be for them. That's alarming. Just because you're standing now don't mean you're doing better than your, <laughs> your predecessors. Right. It just means, hey, I don't know what it means other than you still here. Anyway, he goes on and answers by thanking the Most High, by thanking the Father. And he thanks him because he said he's hid these things from the wise and prudent and revealed them unto babes. I'm going to go to my notes real quick. Because wise and prudent, to me, that was a little, I didn't know what was going on with that, right? He said, these basically these lessons, these precepts have been hidden or were hid from the wise and from the prudent. Wise, in this scripture meant skilled, expert, skilled in letters, learned, Greek philosophers, Jewish theologians, and Christian teachers. That's what wise meant. And prudent meant intelligent, having understanding, wise, and learned. So he's saying these precepts that he's teaching have been hid from the, has been hid from those people, but revealed to, <laughs> to the babes. He doesn't go into explaining why that is other than later on, he says, for it seemed good in the sight of the in the sight of the most high for it. You know, the fact that these things have been hidden from those people. I can guess and say, hey, maybe, you know, those pe those people tend to lean more on their own faculties, on their own understanding, on their own intellect or what they were taught in different classes and different philosophies, whatever. Right. They tend to lean more on that than recognizing or leaning on the Father for the understanding, leaning on the Holy Spirit, right? Because again, He equipped us, He gave us what we need, right? 
but for some reason we think we need stuff from other places. That's me speculating. But the fact remains that he's saying these things were hidden from the wise and the prudent, but revealed unto base because it seemed to be good in the eyes of the Most High and the eyes of God. Right? And then he called all the multitude to him. Right? He said, all things are delivered to me. All these things are given to me of the Father. So Jesus is saying, it's not me. Don't look at me. And I think we missed that. The Son of the Most High and all his glory is standing in front of the multitude and telling them, don't look at me. These things are given to me of the Most High, of the Father. So why would we do anything other than listen to what he's telling us? He just told us, don't lean the wise and the prudent. They ain't going to get it. So don't worry about them anyway. They ain't going to get it. Yahashua was saying, that, don't look at me. Look at the Father. Look at the Most High. I'm going to leave that where that is. I'm going to leave that where that is. But then he goes on to say, no man knows the Son save for the father so no one knows him but the father no one knows the father but him right and those who he yahashua jesus reveals the father to long story short is the only way to know the father is through the son what does that mean it means we focus in on what he's teaching us and at this moment in time he's teaching us don't lean on our own understanding intellect philosophy theology right he's saying don't lean on these things don't lean on your own intellect right lean on the father lean on the holy spirit right lean on him okay all right simple stuff right simple stuff really simple stuff when you think about it and then he says come unto me all you who are have excuse me, who are, who labor. Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy burdened. Basically, you who carry burdens, right? And learn of me, learn of my ways. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Okay? Now, simple concept. I can tell you from my own experience that in my life when I have changed myself changed the way I think maybe not even really in my heart let's say you're at the beginning of change or doing something different you read a lesson in scripture you learned a precept but you still feel the same way that you did before what I mean by that is your behaviors haven't changed right when you're approached or a scenario comes up, something happens. Instead of doing what you normally do, go to scripture, see what it says, and then apply that and behave in that way. It won't be easy that first time. But when you do it, you what I found in my life is that all those stressors that would normally come later on after the decision is made doesn't come. They don't come. It's done. Like you apply the scriptures, you get that release, right? You're in line with what the Heavenly Father, what Yahushua told us to do. And it's done. Like, that's it. And there's no repercussions from that. Nothing negative. It's just, I don't know. That's the experience that I've had in my life, right? I'll just leave that at that. I won't get into too much detail on that because... You know, some of the ways y'all change or we change, you might see some some kickback or whatever, some feedback from people who expect you to be a different way. But for some of us, um, that's difficult to overcome. And for some of us, it don't mean nothing. Right. I'm one of those people where I really don't care as far. That's not true. I do care what others think about my loved ones. I do care about what they think. But what's more important is that. I'm in line with what the Most High says and what he sees and what he does. And what I've learned is that over time, 
as long as we are in line with him, then every everyone else will fall in line. They'll fall in line and they'll fall away, <laughs> one or the other. Either way, it's a good thing because we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, right? But we got to make sure that in executing that, we're not confused or also um, got other stuff up in there. Basically, the cares of the world, right? Or our own selfishness, because we got to die to ourselves too, right? Which is a which is a whole different topic. Anyway, I'm gonna recap because I don't want to go too long. Don't get to the point where you have to be verbally abused by the Most High. Learn from His example. Learn from the teachings, right? Don't wait to be upbraided. Don't wait to be reviled or reproached by the Most High. It ain't gonna feel good, and I doubt you, any of us want that in judgment, right? Don't lean on what we think we know. Don't lean on theology, right? Christian teachers, your own intelligence. The way y'all remember that list. Don't lean on none of that stuff, right? He said his precepts, they're hidden from them anyway. Lean on him. Go to him, right? Take his yoke and his burden because it's light. And it would give rest to our souls. All right, later.